are learning about how to solve exponential equations. We've learned a lot of skills about exponents this week. And now we have the skills that we need to solve something like this. 5 to the x equals 125. So all we have to do is we need to get both of these sides with a base of 5. What do I mean? Well, isn't 125 5 to the third? And if you use a, your root sheet or table of squares, perfect squares and cubes, it's easy to find out those numbers. Once I have this written with the same base, with 5 here and 5 here, then I can drop the 5s and I can just set the exponents equal to each other and solve it. And in this case, it's already solved. X equals 3. That one's really easy. Let's do another one. Let's say that I had 12 to the 2x plus 3 power equal to 144. Well, all I have to do is write 144 as 12 squared. This side was already 12 to a power. And now that I have it written with both having a 12 base, I can set these exponents equal to each other. 2x plus 3 equals 2 and solve this simple equation, which we know how to do. Subtract 3. Subtract 3. So 2x equals negative 1. Divide both sides by 2. And x equals negative 1 half. So, of course, the first thing you got to be able to do is recognize these perfect squares and be able to write them so that they both have the same base. We have a couple more situations that I want uh, to look at. Um, let's say that we had, for example, this will be our third example. Let's say that we had 25 to the x minus 1 power just equal to 5. This one's deceptive because a lot of people forget something very important. They forget that 5 is the same thing as 5 to the first power. All right. Now, how about this 25? Well, I can write it as 5 to the second power. But that whole thing is to this x minus 1 power like this. All right. So on this problem, I'm going to leave this 5 to the first alone for, for now. And I have to remember that when I have a power to a power, I multiply the powers. So I need to do 2 times x minus 1 using distributive property, which is 2x minus 2. So that's 5 to the 2x minus 2 power. And now I finally got what I want, which is the base is the same. And I can just set 2x minus 2 equal to 1 and solve it. And we just do our basic algebra. Uh, 2x equals 3. Divide both sides by 2. So x equals 3 halves. So you just have to know that sometimes you have to do a little bit of work. You know, uh, pay attention. Five is the same thing as five to the first. Twenty-five is the same thing as five to the second. But then you have to use the rule that we know of exponents, which is power to a power. Now, I want to uh, ask you to recall something. Recall or remember that 5 to the negative second power means 1 over 5 to the second, which of course is 1 25th. Now what that means is if I see this right here, I can write it like this, okay? Because of these equal signs, they're all the same. So why is that important? 
Well, look at this little example right here. Let's say that I had 36 to the x power equal to 1 sixth. Well, this might look like we're a long ways away, but we're really not. One sixth is the same thing as six to the negative one. 36 is the same thing as six to the second, but it's all to the x power. So this is six power to a power, I multiply, six to the two x equals six to the negative one. So we're using a negative exponent to help us out here. Sorry about those extra dots. And now I can set 2x equal to negative 1, and I can solve it. Sorry about my pen. Sometimes it does that. x equals negative 1 half. All right? So remember that sometimes you will have to use a negative exponent like we did here, all right, to get these... Uh, problems to shake out the way that you want them to. Just cleaning this thing up here since it turned out so messy. And I really think that you will do fine uh, today on this assignment. And um, good luck as you work through solving exponential equations today. I'm sure you will do a great job.